guys today is Wednesday March 6th today we are gonna be setting up for the fourth bridal show wedding show whatever you want to call it of the season the wedding show does not take place until Saturday but we're setting up today because one we have a 10 by 20 booth uh, the biggest booth that we've done this year two we're also going to be doing the full-on sound and lighting for the giant fashion show so we got to set up all of that today helping out with the lighting portion is all of my brand new lights that I just bought these actually just came in yesterday but I got eight ADJ element hex pars and then uh, in that bag I got another two Shave wash effects twos. we also got the barrage of IEC cables that came off all of those lights and I picked up an ADJ Airstream DMX bridge. Quickly, no, I am not ditching Chave Show Express anytime soon. The main reason for the ADJ uh, Airstream DMX bridge is so that I have a secondary, uh, more simple uh, DMX system that I can just use with an iPad. I don't have to bring out a whole separate laptop to run it with. So for the smaller, like just lighting where I'm just on two Chave Wash FXs, I'd rather just use something simple like that with an iPad and not have to jeopardize using two laptops for the whole entire event. All right, got the trailer over here. Time to get started on this uh, load up endeavor of whatever that entails. This has got to be probably one of the most packed uh, trailer hauls I've done so far. Other than like the two school dances, but there's a lot of stuff. Alright, so we're here around back. I will say this loading is a little bit on the, what I would call sketch side. Um, it's, it's kind of a gruesome. Wheel down through here and through these doors, which I'm going to probably prop open. And here we go. Here is our booth. So yeah, this is uh, what we're working with. We got this big stage here. Uh, we're gonna be doing up lighting on the back wall there on this little textured wall. And then we're gonna be setting up two truss totems as well. So because this is a gig log fashion, uh, we're gonna do it basically my explanation way. So I'm gonna explain to you guys the vision for both the fashion show area and for the booth. Uh, even though if you guys have not already seen it, I made a whole video on how I do wedding shows and my tips and tricks. It's really detailed, so go check it out. So this is going to be our fashion show. Uh, we're gonna be doing up lighting on that back textured area. They wanted to do that and I think that's a cool idea. So we're gonna be doing uh, colored up lighting on the back wall. I'm not really sure what color yet. The other thing they wanted was to basically light the stage because we're gonna shut most of these lights off. So the way I'm going to be doing that is with the nine half, the nine foot uh, trussing. We're going to set up a totem over here and a totem over here. And we're going to put a T-bar on top of that totem. And then each one of those is going to have two wash effects twos. So basically I'll be able to completely uh, wash the whole entire stage from those lights. The only downside to that is I have to run power from back here where the outlets are all, all the way up underneath the stage, underneath the runway. Um, and then somehow divvy it out from there to both sides. So that's going to be interesting. Audio wise, I brought uh, two VRX 918 SPs, complete overkill, two SRX 815 tops, JBL all the way, uh, complete overkill. Uh, like I said, I was going to do subs underneath the, the runway, but uh, it turns out that it's not as tall as what I expected it to be. So we're going to do them basically on the sides here and there's going to be pipe and drape that covers it. We're also going to be setting up my SZ right back here uh, with a table of sort. We're also going to be using uh, the Yamaha 12 channel mixer along so that we can run four individual mics. We're going to be using the Phoenix mics. These are the 500 bands. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about these. Uh, I highly do recommend these. They're the PTU 7-1s. I am upgrading my mics to Audio Technica soon, but uh, as far as like a really good budget mic with good quality, these are them. On to the booth area. We got a 10 by 20 this time. So I am going to do string ball laying. So we're going to set up the pipe and drape poles, do string ball laying all the way across, 12 foot high drapes on the back wall, up lighting, 
two totems, movers on the totems, AJ event facade. So it's, it's just my typical booth setup. Also going to put a high boy table. It's, it's basically the normal booth setup, except it's a 10 by 20. We did a 10 by 15, we did a 10 by 10, so it's just a little bit bigger. I'm going to get started on this, so uh, catch up with you guys here when I finally get something set up. First step complete. First step was eyeing up and making sure the string bulbs work. So I opted to only do from corner to corner on both sides just because it is such a big space and these are such long runs. Um, as you can see, this is actually like really high up. My hand can probably reach about eight foot. And uh, like I said, we're gonna do pipe and drape on the back wall. So uh, now basically I'm gonna lower them back down, apply the pipe and drape, and then raise it back up and uh, make sure I plug in uh, the string bulbs too to make sure they all work. So that way when I raise it up, everything is all set and I don't have to lower it back down. And then I will move on to setting up totem, setting up the console and all that fun stuff. A few moments later. Here's your guys' update. I put the pipe and drape on the back, raised it up. I ended up getting rid of these cross members because I realized they're completely pointless. Um, so yeah, 12 foot high, 12 foot high drapes. Got the truss totems, the six foot totem set up, or six and a half or something like that. Event facade, other totem, and got the two main totems out there set up as well. So now we're basically moving on to doing lighting. Should be fun. All right, I waited until I finally got like most of the lighting done just because most of it is cabling. It's kind of boring. I'm not in focus. The room's in focus though. But we got the lighting all set up and ready uh, in DMX. So like the past shows, we got the Chave Show Express computer set up right here. Chave Show Express underneath. Wireless transmitters, there's two of them. One over there, actually they're both over there. And uh, all the PARs are chained together. Made power easy with the the multi-outlet hose cable that runs along the back there so all these just plug right in uh, very simple very easy main reason why we're not using the elements here is because these lights are really close together and there are no outlets on the stage so that's where all the element pars are going to go as far as the booth goes i don't really think i have much left to do here other than to kind of clean up the cabling a little bit so that's probably all i'm going to do over here and uh, then i'm going to go start working on the wash fx 2s up here running power to that and run the speakers and yeah it's getting pretty close to being done already kind of crazy update is literally one o'clock right now nothing has changed over here uh got the one of the totem set up gotta get the other totem set up gotta get sound set up and then i am done currently i'm gonna go eat lunch because i am hungry 20 minutes later yo we back and um yeah, I got food in me. Probably gonna just start on audio now that I got my sub poles. I'll probably finish the Wash FX2s back here and then I will do audio and then make sure the lighting's working and I'm good to go. It is uh, two o'clock now, so kinda wish I had people here to help me. Oscar actually had uh, jury duty, so he is not here right now. And Caitlin's in Ohio, so yeah. You know, I enjoy setting this stuff up by myself. It takes time, but it's something I enjoy. And uh, I'm off work, so. I really enjoy it. So I didn't really film anything in between now and then. I'm pretty much done, honestly. But uh, I ran into a hiccup with one of the new Chave Wash FXs. So I uh, contacted uh, Canal and they handled it with Chave. And uh, I got a new one coming. It's a warranty replacement, it's no problem. Basically there's one missing up here. And uh, thankfully both Oscar and Kalen both own them. So one of them is gonna bring one and we'll slap it up there and we'll be good to go. Uh, I got the Wash FX 2s running. I didn't bother putting any of the ADJ elements up on the stage, but I'm probably going to do that right before I leave here. I'm going to put those up there. Sound is already set up. Um, like I said, I went back and got the sub poles at lunch. Um, so we're banging. We're all good to go. Got the VRX 918s. Power cords are kind of hit behind. Supposedly they're going to pipe and drape right here. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually going to do it or not, but I made sure it looks clean for uh, my purposes. Back here is the audio side for the fashion show. Uh, we'll have my SE case running the DBX drive rack. And then over here, we're going to be setting up the four wireless microphones with the Yamaha uh, MG12 mixer, which is in here. So that's where that's all going to be set up. All cleaned up. All set. Ready to go. The InnoSpot Pros, just so you guys know, they're actually not in here. I actually threw all the elements in here because I don't have a case for them yet. But uh, Oscar has been borrowing them at his uh, nightclub, or renting, I guess. Oscar owns a Latin nightclub here in North Carolina, and uh, he's been interested in buying the InnoSpot Pros, so I let him use all four of mine um, because I have not been doing any uh, events with them since the last wedding show. And we will not be doing any events with them until come May? 
yeah, April. April when we start doing school dances again, that's when I need them next. So uh, why not let him use them and uh, figure out if he wants to buy them or not. Uh, but yeah, the setup's all done. Mixer wise here, Kalen's gonna bring his turntables and we're gonna set up his turntables there and let his turntable spin and look all fancy and then my SD's over there handling all of the uh, fashion show stuff. So yeah, we're all done here. I'll pick up on Friday when I come back and do uh, the final like setup walkthrough and I'll pick you guys up there and then Saturday is the show and you'll, Kaylin and Oscar will be here. Actually, Kaylin will be here Friday night too, so. See you guys then. What's up guys, it is Saturday now and your boy, DJ Marcella <laughs> though, is here. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> He's in the house, Oscar is currently on his way and um, yeah, we gotta go hook up the trailer, load up the flight case full of element parts because I, I repurposed it for this show. Um, yeah, he wants to show off his fancy new branding he got on a bottle. Anyways, this show in short term is going to be interesting. So if I mentioned they're doing like a Cambodian fashion show, a South Asian fashion show, um, the people that are running those shows sent me their files, files, aka they sent me YouTube video links and I said, do you have files? No, just the YouTube video. Well, the YouTube video sound audio quality, like the video itself is only like 260p. And the audio is just like, I'm sorry, but it is just garbage. It is legit garbage. Like, the quality is terrible. It's going to sound like crap. Right, Caleb? Caleb, listen to it. Yeah, bro. It's going to be fire. All right, we at the show. We got Oscar. We got Caleb. Let me take you for through a little equipment tour for you guys. So, as you can see, we got the 10, or we're rocking nine element hexes up there. Uh, evened out better. The other one's underneath there. VRX 918s, SRX 815Ps, you saw that in the setup. We got all four Wash FX 2s on the two and a half foot meter totems with the T bars. They're the ADJ DMX bridge is up on top of that one. The Wash FXs are not flickery like that in person. It's just because they're at a, such a low uh, dim, they're only at 25% brightness right now, that uh, you can see the strobe of the LED a lot more. What are you doing, bro? I'm just messing with stuff. Oh, the spin down on the turntable. Turn it on. Hey! The footing's better. Can you put the spotlight on it now? Um, Fusion Sound Lighting Banner, I just had space to put it. I don't like using this because it, the colors don't match the, the scheme. 12 foot high pipe and drape, 20 feet across. Doing two strands of string bulb lighting up there. Uh, got the event table. We got, as you can see, Kalen set up here. With the techniques, turntables. You know, like Bar say, real DJs use this, but it ain't Pioneer. You got the event shelves, Kalen's laptops here with our wedding show form for them to fill out. We got the totems using uh, ADJ InnoSpot Pros. We still haven't tucked those wires in yet. We'll get that here in a sec. Uh, we're using all ADJ Mega Hex PARs. I might though. All these. And then we got my laptop over here running Chave Show Express, which is underneath here. And we got some business cards, some paperwork. And then back here is the audio rig for the fashion show. We got the other ADJ event table. This one I don't have a custom uh, logo made yet, so we just use the back of the ADJ one, so it's just white. SC case like normal. Serato. Vmoto LP2s. Yamaha. MG12 mixer running all four of our wireless microphones. I got all six just in case, which are the two GTDs in the SD case, but this is the main uh, audio out that runs into the DBX drive rack, which then goes out to the speakers. One sort of new thing today that we're using, my boys over at Colorado Sound and Lighting make this. It's awesome. This is basically a splitter, like an electrical splitter, um, but it's a really high quality one. It's actually got a filter in it, and down here, this screw right here, goes into the ground lug and locks this in so it won't come out of the wall. So you don't have to tape your wires around the outlet. Like you can see some paint's been ripped off the wall where probably people have done that in the past. With that uh, ground screw, it locks it in so that it won't come out of the wall, which is pretty awesome. If you guys didn't know already, we out here. <laughs> yeah, feel me?
what is up guys so this is the day after the wedding show that we just did i'm actually at the airport um during my layover in charlotte on my way to vegas for mobile beat las vegas the day after it's pretty crazy i'm gonna be there the whole entire week so videos from mobile beat las vegas will be coming uh after this i'm assuming so that's cool but anyways it was just very weird one they said that like 200 brides or something like registered to come we didn't see near that not even the my buddy eric was actually in the other room that I didn't film but the other room had like another 40 vendors in there and that was like just kind of like a room full of vendors and he said he maybe saw 15 people so they didn't explain this is the first time they've ever done that show so um i would say it pretty much flopped on its face and um i was stressed and very pissed off the whole entire time so i wasn't very enthused with this wedding show and you were not with us to las vegas on flight 6 30. but anyways i knew i was taking a risk when i did that wedding show so um that's what happened so anyways i'm going to mobile las vegas guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did have fun doing the production side of it, it was pretty cool uh a lot of upgrades are going to be coming on the production side very soon we're doing brand new mics and all kinds of stuff like that uh looking at buying a martin audio rig as you guys know uh, but, anyway, but anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be an awesome supporter of the channel, there's a link to the Patreon page in the description down below, as well as the first comment. And uh, on that note, leave in the comment section down below, what do you guys thought of this uh, pretty much a flop of a mobile wedding show thing? Uh, like, by the last name, Jerky, Jerky Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep the record spinning, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.